so it's playing with a lot of new cards. Uh, well, I guess two in particular. Uh, I know three. Plays with this risk factor as well. Uh, so you've got Runaway Steamkin. It's kind of the engine of the deck. Uh, he is a two mana one one. That says whenever you cast a red spell, you put a one one counter on him. As long as there are less than three. Uh, if there are three, it's just a four four for two mana, which is great. Uh, you can also remove those three counters and add three red mana. Uh, so I believe a lot of the time you're just trying to get him to a four four and beat down. But you can also just kind of go off with him. Uh, Arc like Phoenix, Arc Light Phoenix. Uh, is a 3-2 Flying Haste for 4 mana. But you are hardly ever casting this thing. Uh, so, Arc Light Phoenix says when you cast 3 spells on your turn, 3 instants or sorceries, you can just bring it right back to the battlefield. Uh, so it's a great card to be dumping in your graveyard with uh, Faithless Looting, you cast some Rituals, you Metamorphose, you bring it back. It, it's wild. It's wild. So it's basically a, th a free 3-2. It's our version of Hollow One's Phoenix. It's what we get to play, except we don't have to pay any mana to get this thing back. Uh, we've got Bedlam Reveler, as we're dumping tons of instants and sorceries in our graveyard. So this guy's always 2 mana. He's got Prowess. He plays super well with all of the, the rituals and all that kind of stuff. Same thing with Monastery Swift Spear. Another Prowess threat. Um, I mean, the idea is that you are just like casting a ton of spells on your turn. Uh, we've got Lightning Bolts, Lava Spikes... Fiery Tempers. Fiery Tempers are great when we're uh, casting things like Faithless Looting. What else? What else? What's other? What's some other spicy stuff going on here? Uh, risk Factor is just like a 3-mana deal 4 most of the time, which is fine, but you get to cast it twice, which is pretty cool. It's just a pretty much all-in red spell deck. Uh, it's like a really weird take on like kind of a burn deck, but not really a burn deck, but kind of a burn deck. Uh, he doesn't stay around long. Yeah, I imagine this guy's like a lightning rod. Please upload this to YouTube. I can't really watch that. Yeah, sure. I, I was planning on throwing this one up on YouTube. Not doing a great job of explaining the deck because it, it's, it's, while it looks kind of like a pile, it's pretty straightforward. You know, your threats are, uh, Monastery Swift Spear, Runaway Steamkin, Arc Like Phoenix, and Bedlam Reveler. Whoa. Uh, and Bedlam Reveler. And then a, so let me just get all these in a pile... So we've got our creature threats, and then we have a pile of burn spells, and then we have the engine cards. So rituals and lootings, burn spells, creature threats, 19 mountains. Uh, in the sideboard, we are trying to be really ready for the uh, the dredge matchup. We have five pieces of graveyard interaction, three surgicals, two tormods. Uh, in Aggressive Mirrors, we have Dragon's Claws. Uh, we will gain a ton of life off of it from our own spells against Burn. We gain some off their spells. This card's like really hard for Burn to beat. Uh, we've got Blood Moon for uh, the decks that that's going to matter. So Tron, Valakut, and any just greedy mana bases. Anger of the Gods is also pretty good against the, uh, the Dredge matchups and other just creature matchups uh, where we're trying to like force our guys through. It's nice that Bedlam Reveler doesn't die to Anger. Uh, though some of our other threats do if we don't, unless we can... Uh, you know, if we, have, if we have Runaway Steamkin up to a 4-4, doesn't die to it. Uh, if we cast enough spells with Swiss, Swift Spear, doesn't die to it, though Arc Like Phoenix would. Um, Abrades is additional pieces of spot removal and artifact interaction. And then Shrine is kind of nice in a uh, in grindier matchups, in control matchups, stuff like that, where you just like get it into play and let it sit there, and uh, eventually it ticks up to pretty ridiculous numbers, and then you just get them class right now so i can't hear you but what is this garbage red deck you're playing <laughs> it's exactly what it is seven yeah exactly seven pieces of dredge interaction i guess if you cast the uh the angers so we'll see i have yet to actually see this deck in action or play it myself uh, i have played against it but every time i played against it it seemed like it kind of just like puttered out and didn't do what it was supposed to do uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Needs more Niv Mizzet. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this deck just wants some Niv Mizzet in it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, put it in a league and see what this deck's all about. Like I said, I mean, I I've run into it a couple times and it just never really seems like it does anything. But people are putting up results with it, and on paper, it looks like it's pretty aggressive and just kind of gets you dead. So we'll see. I mean, it's got, like, a million lightning bolts in it. That's always a good start, you know? 
4 Lightning Bolt, 2 Lava Spike, 3 Fiery Temper. It's a lot of Lightning Bolts. You got three Phoenixes back from the yard? Yeah, like, like when you're doing stuff like that, it's gotta be it's gotta be great. Honestly, it looks sweet now that I'm looking at the cards. I just saw red and my initial reaction is yuck. <laughs> oh, red cards. That aren't lightning bolt? Well, I guess it does have lightning bolt. Alright, let's see how it goes. Uh this is that this is that arc light. Runaway Steamkin Red deck that's been doing pretty well, uh, Sage. Alright, so what do we got here? Well, with a Faithless Looting, this hand looks great. Uh, if the opponent takes the Faithless Looting with like a Thoughtseize or something, we are toast, but we've got like some good stuff we can dump in there, dig towards a land. Yeah, we're gonna keep this, I think. Like I said, relies super heavily on this Faithless Looting. I'm dead at work, figured I'll love, but, um, what the hell is oh, look, <laughs> I was really confused, oh, Tron, there we go, oh, it's probably going to be tricky, alright, let's start off with this Faithless Looting, uh-oh, <laughs> that's not a good start, uh-oh, um, well, I guess the other card I want to get rid of here, hmm, Maybe just one of the rituals. I don't want to get rid of the fiery temper yet. If I draw the mountain, it could be nice to like pitch that next turn when I could actually cast it. I just get rid of a ritual. Oh, risk factor. Oh, true, true. Risk factor's got jump start. Hey, hey, value. Hey, hey, hey. built in snapcaster mage. Built right into the card. How does this deck beat timely reinforcements? Hmm. Oh, blue tron? Get out of here. Alright, well that's not a mountain, but one of these will be. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, alright. That's probably not good. <laughs> uh, I guess I want to keep the Swift Spear. This time we get rid of a Ritual. And I want to say the, as much as it sucks, probably just the Fiery Temper at this point. Probably Ritual Fiery Temper. I want to keep all the Manamorphos and stuff that just, like, keeps going. You've been Tron with it? I, well, I, I can't cast that. I would not like to cast it. And I guess I'll pass the turn. That was unfortunate. You have kept the rituals? Well, I, I figured, like, these are, I don't know. These kind of just keep going. Similar to rituals, but also replace themselves. Yeah, we can probably do some crazy stuff next turn, though. If we draw a land, I can start with ritual, monastery, swift spear into like morphos, morphos, land. Nice. All right, so if I go ritual, swift spear, morphos, morphos, bedlam reveler, maybe. Attack for a bunch. That kind of looks good. Get back a phoenix. Yeah, 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 yeah. This all looks good. Don't counter this. Don't counter this. Don't counter this. Cool. Okay. Doing some stuff. Okay. What is he going back? Is he going back in combat? Okay. Uh, this guy? Just get rid of all these. Just discard three. Draw three. Okay. Bring this guy back. Attack for six. That was a pretty cool turn. You don't want to bounce? Really? Oh, it's because it's repeal. Right. I'm like, you don't want to bounce the four drop? Repeal, that's not what repeal says. <laughs> that's not how that card works. Okay, okay, okay. We've got a board state. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, well, I don't think I can actually beat that card. But I guess if I can get, like, an instant. We got one right here. Ooh. Awkward. <laughs> well, I really don't want to just, like, fire off Ritual <laughs> just to get this guy. But I guess I do. I guess I can go Ritual for the Prowess Trigger. Uh, cast Steamkin, cast Swift Spear. I also have Risk Factor. He would just let me draw the cards at this point, though. I think I just like going Ritual, cast Steamkin, cast Swift Spear, attack with these two. So here we go from there. Cast this, cast this using the mana to get a counter on Steamkin. Attack with these two. Get in for a bunch. Okay. This is when he casts the Ugin and I lose, I think. Seems about right. Sorry, I wasn't making attention. I'm assuming he just got the other Tron land, yeah. Been more focused on what I'm doing with my hand rather than what my opponent's been doing with like their maps and whatnot. They just got the two Tron lands. Also, uh, whatever it's worth, it looks like my... Uh, it looks like my other list... My, or my, my video from yesterday didn't get muted. Oh, no, it was. Okay. Looks like my other video did not get muted. Uh, so I should be able to get that up on YouTube as well if you guys missed that yesterday. that was There were some fun leagues yesterday. There he is. Oh. Wait, that's kind of good. That's actually pretty good. Forgot I get to keep this guy around. Pow. I think I just kill the Ugin here. Play Steamkin. I don't think I can let them have the Ugin. Unless they just have... Oh, okay. Alrighty. Lava Spike. How do I beat this? I don't think I can. Can't cast any of these on two lands. Casting this would get this to 2-2. Two, two. Bring him to 7. He gets attacks me, goes up to 13. Oh, he can equip this. <laughs> oh, no! He gets to equip this. Make it into a 10-10. Quick answer is you do not. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright, well, I'm just going to go ahead and put him to 7. He's going to go to 17, and then I'm just going to deal 17 in one shot. Easy peasy. Oh, don't do something. End step. That can't be good for me. Tiki, you are a persistent man. Whew. Yep, he saw the line. Oh, yeah, vigilance. <laughs> oh, I can't beat that. Okay, well, let me see what my draw is, and then we'll, we'll move on to the next game, I imagine. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Let's just go ahead and move on to the next game. <laughs> Can't beat a 10-10 uh, Vigilant Lifelink Death Toucher. Uh, let's see. Shrine is interesting. It's like... That's actually, that's actually an interesting one. Well, I want the Blood Moons. I know... 
Yeah, I won the Blood Moons. A braids aren't the worst thing in the world. Let's me deal with like. I think I, I think I want like these as well. Uh, what are the cuttable cards? Risk factor maybe. Seems a little clunky. And then maybe like the lava spikes. Yeah, I assume I want shrine. Probably cut risk factor. You always cut the risk factor? Yeah, that's what it, it kind of seems like. That card's meh. And then maybe the maybe the lava spikes. Though, being super aggressive seems like what I need to be doing this matchup, so cutting the lava spikes seems iffy. Maybe I'm not supposed to care about their lands? Like, maybe this isn't actually... <laughs> so it's crazy to say it, but maybe it's not exactly a Blood Moon matchup. Like, taking the time to put a Blood Moon in a play might not actually be worth it against the blue version. I don't know. Let's try it. I'm going to try without the Abrades either. Like, man, destroying an artifact might be really good, though. No, I think it's slowing my deck down too much. I think I need to just, like, go. But uh, a braid could be what I want here. Hey, what's up, Kale? Old Mayo Mancer. I just saw your name. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'll keep this one. We got the combo. Faithless Looting plus Arc Like Phoenix. Yo, what? Gemstone? That's kind of wild. Alright, Phoenix and... Uh, Man, I, I like keep having to get rid of these tempers at bad times, but I think I have to get rid of the temper here. Get rid of this silly temper. That should just be zero. <laughs> Alright, no, no, it shouldn't. Alright, so let's get this shrine in play. Yeah, I think we're just supposed to get this going this turn. Start ticking up. How do you beat this? How do you beat this? Shark Tooth McGee. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's not very good. Let's get this guy in play. And do nothing. Pass turn back. But next turn. Next turn we're going to go buck wild. With just Manamorphos. <laughs> Gemstone Cavern. That's wild. It's stealing the play from me. Is that even legal? No. No, it's not. <laughs> if this was real burn, our opponent would be dead. Hey, that's true. But instead, we're playing Silly Burn, and we are dead. <laughs> Because I've played a 1-1 one, one and a do-nothing artifact, and my opponent has 8 man. <laughs> I've done nothing and played nothing. Mm. There he goes. Okay. Maybe his hand is nothing, and this will count to 20. another land all right so we got four mana we've got one two two instants in our graveyard <coughs> excuse me well I don't think I have time to sit around forever if I do this we've got three four five six seven I'm gonna cast this stupid guard it's probably a bad idea give me give me double blue 
Okay, well now I can cast the devil. Unless I've done math wrong, which is a possibility. You gonna counter this? You gonna counter this? You can counter the first one, but you wanna counter this one? You're crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but isn't it cast triggers? Oh, he's just trying to stop me from casting a third. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That seems silly. There's, like, nothing in my deck that costs that much mana anyways. Like, if I had another... I, I can't cast him, right? Yeah. Okay. That seems silly. <sighs> I just didn't have another spell. I guess it's fine. If I did draw another spell, that would be pretty good. Like, if I drew a ritual there, then we're cooking. Because then I get to play this guy, I get back arc light. Mm. Drink it. Repeal. Ugh. Why you gotta do that to me? That's what I did to my opponent. That's why he's gotta do it to me. It's payback for what I did last time I played against this guy. Or this deck. Oh wow, I was gonna draw another Metamorphose. <laughs> I guess that's like a free roll. No, I guess I wanna hmm. I don't know, I think we're in a rough spot here. I think I gotta get a little bit lucky. We have one, two, three. Four, five. So we cost three. I hadn't played a land yet, right? Okay. Give her this lightning bolt. Ooh. Okay. Maybe he's got nothing. That's our that then we could win. He had something. He had a thing. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I I thought about that after not casting the bolt. Uh, if I would have cast the bolt, that that was just that was just free on him. First, first, first match. We're getting the bugs out. First match. We're getting the bugs out. All right. He picks up a map. I can't cast three yet. What if we go? Okay, what if we go Swift Spear, Ritual? Yeah, let's do this Swift Spear, Ritual. Faithless Looting. <laughs> that was a good turn. 
<laughs> that was a good turn. <laughs> that faithless looting was really good. Faith, faithless looting into fiery temper and another phoenix is pretty good. Oh no. Does he have... Do I just not get another turn now? <gasps> now we conceded! Yay! <laughs> oh man. What are we going to draw? Nice! Something that kills him off the top. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I feel like Blood Moon might... Do we... Do we... Do we want a Blood Moon? Do we want a Blood Moon against Blue Tron? I like semi not feeling it. Maybe that's wrong of me though. This doesn't feel right. It feels slow and clunky, and it feels like I just want to like run him down. <sighs> Maybe. Play Infect? Mmm. Yeah, we're gonna do Infect at some point. Maybe take out the Shrine, he plays a lot. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll try this. Man, we keep having the combo. I like having the combo. I like Tron opponents mulliganing. Island. Okay. Interesting. If I just start with Swift Spear, next turn I can go... Ritual. Ritual. Looting. Go crazy. Yeah, I just start with this. I'm learning it. I'm learning it, Pike. I know it's absolutely Swift Spear now, now that I think about it. But before, I wasn't thinking about it. I know now. Okay. Now, I could delay another turn and have Shrine tick up to a million. Or I can go for a super explosive turn here while he has Condescend for 1-up. Yeah, I'll just cast it. Not great. Hey, Dingus, thank you for the uh, host there. Hopefully your streaming went well. It's going to be a pretty big hit. Oh, baby. Just keep going. This is a beefy hit. Whew. Well, now I think I... Oh, man, wait. I can ritual... I can ritual flashback faithless looting. Try to hit another Phoenix. Or I can just shrine and start doing stuff next turn. I like shrine and start doing more stuff next turn. I like having that ritual for next turn. Oh man. Prowess. Alright, clock my opponent for like a clean clean ten. Hopefully he doesn't have the repeal. Surgical, my phoenix! Damn it! Oh man, if he has the repeal, I'm gonna cry forever. I will cry until the end of time. Alright, he didn't have it. No crying today. Get to clock him for ten. Pow. God, I 
can't believe he snagged it from me. Uh, it seems like exactly what you just said. <laughs> this is this is my first match with it, <laughs> and I am I am getting the same impression you have. Exactly that. Feels cool, but feels like potentially a deck that folds to a lot. But we shall see. Hey, what's up, Bob? I'm back, but sadly I won't be running control, but I need to decide between burn or another deck. Well, do you have another deck in mind, or are you... Is it is it burn or just anything else? Right, let's draw some cards. Oh, I should have played a land first. In case I drew... What's it called? Fiery? Yeah, yeah, Pike saw that too. I know, I thought about it, Pike. I thought about it after. No, don't have the repeal! Oh, okay. I just never want my opponent to have repeal. Clancy, what are you doing? <laughs> Clancy. Hey. Oh, wow, that was... He just stopped. Wow, that was freaky. You just, like... Gave me a dirty look. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing over there? Are you eating your legs? What are you doing? It's not having it. Alright, so we have him at potentially a virtual... Four? It's a good number. Assuming you can't kill this. <laughs> said played burn <laughs> i mean burns burns reasonable uh and the chat is loading for me so i won't be able to hear you oh no oh wait less than ooh 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 how much does this guy cost dang it three dang it So close. We had one more in the graveyard. <sighs> Just gonna attack him. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Just sit by and shrine. We just have to resolve like a one more spell basically this game. Spatial contortion. Yeah, like how does he beat this? If I just, like, never tap this mana. Bam. We got a little, we got a little standoff here. Target spell or non-land permanent. Thomas on his library. Crack him. Right, he's at three. That's a good number. So I got four cards in hand, and I have a lightning bolt in my hand. Uh, let's see. The other decks are up in the air. I have to decide, and I have no clue what to play. I have a budget of about four hundred dollars. Okay. Well, it would help a lot to know play style. That would help me quite a bit to know the style of decks that you like to play. That would that would help me point you in the right direction. All right. Well, now my opponent's just the deadest person on the planet. Bolt you. I did this wrong. Because <laughs> then I'm thinking I could just play this, but now I want to like not do that. He's the deadest person on the planet. Next turn. So I want to keep this in my hand. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting Mind Break Trap. I want to keep this in my hand. 
and then next turn cast this for two and fiery temper so he has to deal with that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. wait it doesn't excel any number of target spells they'd both be on the stack man if he has another one that's kind of scary mind break trap is some tech man i haven't i used to play that in my sideboards but it has been a long time oh yeah i can't really help bob No more than one creature can attack each combat. No more than one creature can block each combat. Oh, wait, he's dead. <laughs> well, I guess let's let's kill him in cool fashion. Ah, oh, but that lets him mind break trap potentially. Whatever, kill, kill him in cool fashion. Shoot ya! All right, we did it. Yeah, <laughs> mono blue trot is really dumb. <laughs> My gut says nothing. <laughs> Alright, good start. We beat we beat bad bad Tron deck. Sweet Tron deck, bad Tron deck though. It's it's just worse than normal Tron. <laughs> but it it's doing some it's doing some cool stuff. It's got that going for it, that's for sure. What did you play, Dingus? What did you play during your stream? Did you already tell me that? No, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> yeah. All these faithless looting hands. This one's kind of bad, though. I'm on the play. <laughs> Do you keep a hand with faithless looting that has no payoff of faithless looting? Well, it's got Bedlam Reveler. I can just, like, kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Even slam a mono green trial lands. Good move. Good move. We probably keep this on the play. Hey, there you go, Bolus. Good job. Now get on a hot streak. Just keep winning. Okay, so we found a land. I think I only want one. Discard Lava Spike plus land. The next turn I can go... Mit no, maybe I just get rid of the fire. Maybe I just keep the... No. Maybe I get rid of the fire. Eat nah. uh. Yeah. Burn is good. <sighs> this is actually a tricky Faithless Looting. Um, obviously I want these... I want these three cards. The question is, which of these do I get rid of? It's definitely not both mountains. Um, but I'm not actually even sure if it's one mountain. Lava Spike's just an easier to cast Fiery Temper, especially if I don't have another discard outlet. I know I have Faithless Looting in the graveyard, but I'm thinking, like, maybe it's Fiery Temper plus Mountain? I'm gonna go with that. And just kind of lose the value on this, but like we'd be losing it on the lava spike anyway. So like whichever one we discard, we're losing the value on. And this, like, we don't have another discard card in our hand. Yeah, a lot of a lot of tribal decks these days, huh? Humans, spirits, merfolk. Search for tomorrow, Valakut. Oh no, we gotta kill him fast. Eh. It's a start. I think we just fire off a bunch of these to go to try to get a uh, Bedlam Reveler in the play as fast as possible. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, now we're going to be casting one this turn. So I have one, two, three, four, five in the graveyard. Ritual. Spike you, Bedlam Reveler. Okay. Oh, Wizards. That is a thing. Yep. Who could forget about Wizards? <laughs> well, that's just not true, Bolus. It still exists. Oh, Risk Factor. Spicy. 
All right. So I could do something to get him to clear this. No, I'm probably just playing Monastery Swift Spear, attack both, and then... Man, I really want to cast one of these three mana spells this turn, I guess. I kind of want to cast this Risk Factor. This is interesting. Maybe it's Swift Spear, and then... Swift Spear, attack both. The next turn I go... Risk Factor, see what he wants to do. Potentially takes a ton of damage. Play Twin. Yeah, just play Twin. Just sucks to waste the mana this turn. He's just going to go ahead and block this guy, take one. He's going to go to 15. And then, like, next turn I could potentially do a lot of damage. Yeah, exactly. Bullis, you, gotta, you can't forget that exactly what Pike said. Every deck has bad matchups. Like... That's just that's just a part of it. <laughs> they they've all got a bad matchup somewhere. You can't be good across the board. The the two philosophies of of like choosing your deck is either pick a deck that beats the decks you hate losing to or pick a deck that you just enjoy playing because you enjoy playing that deck. All right, so their mountain count is 4. The pressure's on. Ooh. I'm going to Risk Factor now, in case I hit lands, if they happen to let me draw cards, so they just take four, I want to Prowess, get them in, get in for ten this turn. But good, good chance, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. They're probably just dead this turn, unfortunately, because I'm not hitting my opponent for twelve. Though, if I don't die... We might be able to kill him next turn if I somehow don't die. Very likely just has a Titan, but if somehow I'm not dead, that's not a Titan. If this lives, he's dead. If he just guns this down, I kill him. No bolt. Alright, so I think it's cleaner to just attack here. And cast Fiery Temper. Rather than tap out for this and let him potentially bolt this. That way he's at one and then I... What's the, what's the cleaner line? Phoenix Attack or Temper? I guess just attack with this because you may not bolt this. Get out of here, Valkut. Main main deck Chandra, huh? Runaway Steamkin seems not like like the worst card in this deck. <laughs> no, I know a Titan wouldn't have killed me, but it would have like sweeped my board probably. What would it have done? No, because he would have only been able to get like two triggers. But then maybe, if, nah, nah, that was probably fine. That was probably fine. Here is the uh, the deck we're playing today. All right, so I imagine Blood Moons take off his Valakids. Probably don't really want anything else. I just take out the risk factors. This seems fine. Just want to be super aggressive again. Sideboarding with this deck, man, I never know what to cut. Yeah, it's it's definitely tricky. It, that That's kind of the case with, like, any deck that is really linear. Um, it's always hard to cut, like, a piece of the puzzle, you know? have the blood moon this hand's great <laughs> this hand's really good <laughs> what am i talking about turn two blood moon turn one swift spear turn two blood moon looks pretty good <laughs> 
Oh yeah, this hand, this hand is good. We got a spicy one. Got it. Ah, oh, should have gotten the basic forest. I guess you can't with this. All right, let's take our opponent off green. <laughs> no green for you. Start with the Manamorphos. Draw a card. Ooh. Double ritual? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go first ritual. And then faithless looting. Faithless looting. Ooh, temper. So so tempting. Get it. Uh but I, I can't I can't cast that here, so I guess we just get rid of these. And I want to hold on to the temper. Other one. Desperate ritual. And blood moon. And attack you for six. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, he had it. Oh, I don't have, like, Chandra now. Okay. Dang. I was really hoping he didn't have the basic forest. He did, though. Ah! Stop! Now my Blood Moon doesn't do anything. Now you're just going to kill me next turn. <laughs> this felt like such a good game if he didn't have that basic forest. No! Everything's falling apart. All right, don't kill me. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, stop. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's a little scary. All right. Well, that's super scary, because that makes me feel like he has got a way to get rid of this blood moon. Okay. Send it back. Please don't get rid of this card. What? How is that the 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 choice? <laughs> How is that the choice? <laughs> Removal spell for enchantments in this. Oh, I guess summoning. That's why, cause summoning. But like, don't you just get Rex Age or something? But this you can wait. I don't know. That seems silly. Imagine that's a risk factor. It's hard to tell with risk factor. <laughs> Who knows? Ugh. Is he sending them all? At me? Oh no. Okay. They were sending them all at me for a second. I'm like well, that's a way to die. No, I think we're definitely supposed to have Blood Moon against Valakut. All right, we definitely have some draws here. No, we don't. There's nothing we can draw to deal seven this turn. Man, I had such a good opener. I had such a good opener. That sucks. Jeez. I still think we want the blood moons. Take the moons out on the... Take the moons out on the play take them out on the play because we just want to get him dead okay I can believe that let's bash him let's just bash him that's true you guys might be right you might be right if that was just risk factor instead he was probably just dead we got him all to get that one uh balls these are bad There we go. There we go. These are good. He also mulligans. That's that's good. I think I just play Steam can next turn. And then try to go bananas the turn after.
Just smork, yeah, just smork. And have heated arguments. Yeah, you two always like disagree on literally everything. All right, give me some sweet. Oh, wait, that's like kind of sweet. I should have played the other one first. Okay, so this makes it easier for me. You just, you just gonna sack it. I'm just gonna play the other one, and then next turn I think try to go berserk. Oh, cool. I didn't. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought it was spell, not just any red card. I should have played that first. I missed the point. Yeah, no, I know I missed the point. I should have. I should have played that. I, I. I was thinking in my head that it was spell. It was just spells. Looks like a Chandra or an Obstinate Bayloth. What do you know, Obstinate Bayloth? Card I can't beat in two thousand years. All right, let's start doing stuff. <laughs> huh. Add mana? Why add mana? Why even? Are you gonna do anything? Don't I just ritual here and attack him for 12? <laughs> hey, what's up, Banner? I feel like we just ritual here, get the prowess trigger, and attack for 12. What did I miss? What am I missing? Uh, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. If I t did it before, and I was, you were saying that before, before I cast the uh, Metamorphose, because I was going to be able to cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. But we didn't draw anything, anyways. So I can cast this ritual just to get the prowess trigger here to make it so all of these can get through. I think we do that. Bash with these. Could have attacked with this too. He's probably going to trade one of these. Yeah, I probably should just attack with this. How's it going, Anner? Haven't seen you in a while. Alright, let's get like a bolt or something. Okay. That is a bolt or something. So, options here. I can bolt him, put him to eight, put him to four, put him to, yeah, I probably just bolt him now. Hey, thanks for the bits there, Bethany. Yeah, I'll just bolt him. Put him at like a super low life total. Face is the place. What else are we going to play tonight? I don't actually know. I don't have the second deck lined up yet. Oh boy, there he is. Bolt off the top one more time. Can I draw that bolt right off the top, please? Yeah, I don't have, I don't have the second deck lined up yet. Could be Grixis. You can do that if you want. 420 islands. Interesting. That is a line. Just give me a bolt and make it easy. <gasps> That's kind of funny. I have to do it now. What am I doing? In case I draw a land plus bolt. Because he has to go give me three cards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just like that. <laughs> Almost through that game. And then I was like, wait, what am I doing? He has to give me the cards. I have to be able to draw land and bolt. And what do we draw? Land and bolt. Land and two bolts. 
Abzan Menagerie. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play that deck at some point, but I don't think I play that one tonight. I should play this one. What is this one? Let's see. Eldritch Ghoul. Oh, this is that Cremator deck. Oh, man, it's that Cremator deck. This one's pretty funny. When he enters the battlefield... When this, this four mana guy, when he enters the battlefield, he can discard a card. If you discard a creature card, he deals damage equal to the creature card's power to target player or planeswalker. It plays like Galta and Impervious Great War. <laughs> They're just trying to like 16 your opponent. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that deck's pretty funny. We'll play that at some point. <laughs> Alright, let's keep playing. 2 0 so far. <laughs> you told me this deck is broken. This deck is, like, not broken. This deck is, like, super far from broken. It feels pretty fair. It loses to, like, a removal spell. Well, this just looks like a really bad burn hand. Can you keep hands that don't have creature threats? Or a faithless looting? Wish I knew the matchup. Wish I knew the matchup. Spike you. Uh oh. Okay. It's my own boggle. All right, that was a reasonable draw. Freaking bagels, man. Miss your land, miss your land, miss your land. Dang it. No lifelink, no lifelink. <laughs> Come on! Come on! It's like the most basic lifelink card. Yeah. Nah. I don't think I don't do anything too crazy this turn. Unless maybe I go ritual risk factor. If he lets me draw the cards and I draw a land. I could go ritual risk factor. It does. It does. It does add mana. Ritual Bold Bolt Risk Factor. That's what it does. That is what it does. I should read the card. Hey, uh, I'm awesome. Thanks for the follow. Let's do that. I figured it out. But, like, I never want to take the things off. I never want to do that. Because I just want him to be big. Wanted to be big and strong. I wanted to be a big, strong guy. So now I only have a 2 2. All I've got is a 2 2. Hey, what's up, Mark? And now he's just gonna gain life! And I lose! Because I don't have a 4 4. Oh no. Oh boy. Alright. Okay. He's at eight. It's okay. This is okay. I 
should attack, lose one mana, then it, yeah, 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 yeah. That all makes more sense. That makes more sense. I like that line more. Does he let me get in for the three? He does not. Yeah, should have attacked with the four and then did it. Yep. 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 Nope, that makes sense. That makes sense. See, that would have been a clean line. All right, no more enchantments. No more enchantments. Can't have you gaining more life. Please stop. Okay, that's fine. That is, in fact, not an enchantment. But this is. No, it's not. Okay. We're not out of it. <laughs> Where is my cryptic? Okay. Not ideal. Not ideal. I want to attack my opponent. Hey, what's up, Bronze? Hey, the other dog came up here. When did he get up here? Why is he, like, face first into the cushion? <laughs> Brady. <laughs> He's, like, face first against the back of the couch. <laughs> that can't be comfortable. <laughs> opponent is really thinking about this combat step oh my goodness there it is get in with both bash free loot extension I don't think I put a free loot extension in that didn't seem right there oh ah oh e We're like a f faithless looting away from doing crazy stuff, I think. I guess not really. Oh, okay, now we're dead. <laughs> that's that's gonna kill us. Uh, okay, so anger is technically a way we could kill the gals. Man, what do I want? It could be the pile of cards that I put over to the side, but... I don't know, this seems like a pretty hard matchup. <laughs> this, seems like a, this seems like a hard matchup. Yeah, Moon is pretty good. Moon is good against this deck. But the problem, it's only good if I can, like, ever deal with their first threat, I feel like. I guess I can, like, I can moon pretty early. I can turn two moon. Like, turn two moon could just beat them. I kind of want to be able to turn two moon him. Yeah, I don't think it's a shrine matchup, but I want to turn two moon him. I don't know. I think this is fine on the play. What would we cut? What do we cut here? Maybe a spike? Maybe a temper? Temper's been letting me down. We, are, we don't have enough discard outlets. We don't have enough discard outlets for temper to just be, like, free. I want to see more phoenix. I want to see more of this card.
Okay. This is a really defensive hand, but, like, probably okay. Might be able to cheese him if I just get his, uh, if I just get his threat here. Very slow hand, though. Let's see. Might be able to get him. The cheese. The question is, do I just nab this right now? By ritualing out in anger? That seems pretty bad. Two cards towards Bedlam. <laughs> but if he puts on a totem armor, I'm pretty upset. So I think I just have to kill him. Ah, oh, the looting. Let's just do this first. Let's get rid of his guy. I'm going to go for the safe line. I'm just killing his dude. Hope he doesn't have another one. In the next turn, I can go uh, Steamkin, Faithless Looting. Bolt? <sighs> Spicy. Just cast that now. Just going to keep clearing. Hope he doesn't have a threat. As soon as he, like, doesn't have a threat, we're golden. <laughs> Don't have one. Dang it. Stop it. All right, give me a bolt. Do I give up one counter on this guy to give myself the opportunity to find and be able to cast a bolt this turn? Yes. One, two, three. He costs five. He costs four. He costs three. Plus two. I just get rid of the Steamkins. Alright, so I go Ritual, and then I go Reveler looking for a Bolt rather than cast this Swift Spear, right? Because, like, Bolt's just game where Swift Spear doesn't do all that much. Three draws at a Bolt. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Okay. Not the worst draw in the world, depending on how big he goes this turn. I mean, it's not great, obviously. Especially with that. Well, that's the game. Oh well. It's gonna be a bolt on top. No. Yeah, can't beat that. Too bad. We we did all the digging we could do to try to find a bolt, but we answered two of his guys, but he had three. Unfortunately, he had three uh, three threats, and I dug as absolute hard, absolutely hardly hard as I could. Could not get that word out of my mouth. As hard as I could towards a bolt, but we did not find one. Sure. 
on the draw. I mean, it's kind of clunky on the draw. Bagel me again. Ooh. The sand does things. It does things and stuff. Maybe. Fool. I wanted blue mana. Oh, I froze. One steamy boy. <laughs> One steamy boy. There it is. Okay. Let's do stuff. That's what we needed. Now things are going to happen. Give me more Phoenix. Two more Phoenix. You're going to counter this? <laughs> Counters my faithless looting? <laughs> what a jerk. Yeah, I forget there's no punishment to not just play the lands. Yeah, I could have paid. <laughs> I could if I played the land, I could have Desperate Ritual paid. Uh, great. Alright, well, what do I want to do? Ritual. Let's see, I can go Ritual, Helix, not Helix, Spike. Ritual, 3 mana, Spike down to 2 mana. Go up to five mana, cast arc like Phoenix and Bolt. Or just ritual looting. Right. I guess I just do that. Because that works too. Then I can remove these, get the three mana, cast, 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 get them all big again. Do I need to, though? Do I just attack him for seven? Or do I get him for 16? Not 16, 13. And then just risk factor him next turn. While he's tapped out, I kind of want to just go all in. Hey, Bronze. Thanks for the donation there. Hello, friend. I have a friendly league for you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ugh, I'm going to go with Psychopath Pike's line, but... I feel like it's probably wrong. <laughs> I feel like it's probably wrong. Actually, let's just, like, risk factor. So he just takes the four. Pow! No, no verdict. No! Pull you. <laughs> this way, if I draw Fiery Temper, I can cast it. Give me Fiery Temper. Oh. Risk Factor. Oh. Can I do that right now? Yeah, Risk Factor right now. Land bolt. Land bolt. I didn't cast three spells, right? No, I did not. Dang it. I guess keeping the bolt to get back arc like yeah, it's because I did the Phoenix on his turn. Or did the bolt on his turn. 
If he has, like, Gideon or something. I guess that's the more likely one. I don't know why I went with the, the like, year-old option of Gideon. Alright, just give me a bolt. Let me bait him with this. Give me a fiery temper. Uh... No counterspell, no counterspell, no counterspell. Okay. Resolve. Bolt. Any burn spell. <laughs> Kill ya. Get out of here with your old blue-white control. Who plays blue-white control anyways? Certainly not me, ever. I only play mono-red decks. Like a civilized person. All right, nice, nice control deck, nerd. <laughs> so definitely want the shrines here. You know what? Let's just bring in our whole sideboard. They're all just good cards. I guess that's it. Because I just want shrines. Risk factor seems like okay against control, right? Three mana deal four twice. Oh wait, I totally missed bronze. What? What was the? What is the deck? You said you had a you had a deck for me to play, and I'm terrified now. What is it? It wasn't it wasn't in the dono, was it? Wasn't in the donation. No, you don't have it. Oh God, what's the friendly league? I'm scared. Bronze. What is it? Okay, here it is. Faithless looting. Re <gasps> but I like this deck. I'm happy to play that deck. Uh oh, you said rip to the boil thing. <laughs> okay, more more thing in the ice. I'm happy to play more thing in the ice. All right, so what do we not want against blue white control? If I'm sitting there playing blue white control, I'm sitting there playing blue white control. What do I not want to see from my opponent, or what do I want to see from my opponent? They change some things here and there. Remands replace briefing. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I am excited to play more of that. Maybe it's just these. Yeah, briefing is kind of meh. Meh. It's kind of meh. Oh, getting rid of the spikes feels bad. I just won't burn. Ugh, I'm gonna do them. No, that feels wrong. Ah, what do I cut? Maybe it's the risk factors. No, that seems good against control. Ah, I'm just gonna run it. We can play that next. We can play more thing. Oh, wait. Do I? I think I have all the cards for that deck. I think I just, like, own that one. I just own this deck, right? Yeah. And I, I probably have the cards you swapped, if they're just like remands. Well, I said they're good against control. I generally cut temper before spike. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Temper was the cut. I agree with both of you. Oh, the old turn two risk factor? <laughs> turn two risk factor? Ooh, give me a faithless looting. Bash. All right, we're winning. Aggressive. Does he counter? Doesn't counter. How nuts do I go? Do I go so nuts that I cast another ritual? Yes. No. Yes. Because then I can hit Faithless Looting off this risk factor. No, he's just going to take the damage. But then I can just bolt. A 
dare you. Is this Storm? Yeah, this is Storm. Look, oh, opponent's like already dead. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this game so hard, I'm playing like an idiot. <laughs> playing like an idiot. What are you guys doing over there? Brady, are you licking the couch? Brady. That's gross, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> now I know why his head was against the couch. Yeah, land would be great. Land? Ooh. This could be a land. It's basically a land. That was pretty good. I bet he lets me draw the cards this time. <laughs> I bet I get to draw some cards this time. Give me back that birdie. Hey, opponent. Get seven. Don't have a path. No, oh, the path! We'll get three. <sighs> la, 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 la. Cryptic turn, so I gotta attack before I do things, even though I have this fatal looting. Can't let him counter something and also tap my guy. That would suck. Let's get him for the damage. Make him do something now. Vendillion click? Interesting. I just let this resolve. Interesting. These are all good cards. It's okay. Jokes on him, all cards are good right now. It's probably the best one, but... Okay. Took risk factor. I'm okay with this. Maybe a spell snare. That would kind of suck. Drawing another land there sucked. Do I have enough there? I do? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, that's one turn too late, bud. <laughs> that's one turn too late. Alright, I like uh I like other shrine here. This deck is degenerate. Hey, he cracks a fetch and concedes. <laughs> this deck is so silly. Silly goose deck. Well, we're three and one. Prize and again. We have been on a hot streak. I think our last our last three leagues on stream, I think, have been 5-0-4-1-4-1. That's pretty good. <laughs> We've been on a tear lately. Let's keep doing that. Let's keep let's keep doing this. Good stuff. 
It's good. It's coming off of a big losing streak. Actually, hold on. Before we do this one, I will be right back. I'm going to go blow my nose. Get a new tissue. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while? Here we go. Alien can play. No. Play. Going well so far? Going well so far? You don't even know what a losing streak is. Bolus was born in the losing streak. He was molded by it. Molded by the losses. The alien threat has been exterminated. Took care of him. Don't even worry about it. Wasn't even a problem. He'll never come back. Don't even worry about it. Ha! It's gone. Every time I see this deck, it makes me believe it's a real deck. I've yet to watch this deck being played and say to myself, oh, it folds to X. No. I think this deck's bad. <laughs> I think this deck is bad. It feels like I'm running on super thin margins and my opponent at any time could just like have something and beat me. If they just have like literally anything, I feel like I just lose. Well, I guess I can keep this hand because I can just like fade the suit and pitch these two revelers. Well, that's not great. Hey, Pike. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the dono there. What did you say there? Let me see. Can we draft next? Pike really wants to see me draft. Would you guys be okay with watching me draft? We haven't done it in a long time. We haven't done it in a long time. I gotta, I gotta give, a, I gotta give a draft at some point. And you know what? This format is pretty cool. Maybe we can do a draft. I'm thinking we could probably do a draft. Let's do a draft. All right. So let's, let's think about this hand. We'll do a draft after this. Pike paid. Pike paid. That's true. <laughs> we'll do a draft. Thank you, Pike. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it on Magic Online. We'll do it on Magic Online, not Arena. Um, so is this hand good enough if we're planning on pitching two Revelers? The thing is, the Revelers don't pay, don't help us towards the cost of the other Revelers. Draft at 5 a.m. Eastern time? Why? <laughs> oh, man. Would you play this over Fluffy's Pyro Prison? Um, I probably would, because it's more aggressive, and I, I, I think Pyro Prism is, uh, super sweet, I just don't personally have a lot of faith in the archetype, so no one is here, yeah, I, th I, I probably would play this over that deck, man, this is a really thinker hand.
What? I'm on the draw. Eh, I'm on the draw. The archetype's super sweet. I love watching, like, I love watching games of it from the side of that, of that player. Uh, like, of the player playing Pyro. Oh, uh, this is a thought. See, okay, Faith is looting. I don't know. Faith is looting, like, fix so many hands, though. That That's the thing. I'm, like, kind of okay with this because I have the Faith of Sluting. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think it's a good opener, but this deck, like, you know, it, it, it mulligans pretty... Not not so well. Mulligans not so well. Stinkweed Bloodgast. Let's make him think we're just like Mardu. For now. We have a lot of sideboard hate for this deck. So, I think we just kind of try to send the wrong message here, and then uh, maybe just concede. Because I don't think we can beat them with this. Oh, especially not with Creeping Chills. Uh, just funsies, really. I'm not really a player that aspires to win a PTQ. Okay. I mean, this is definitely a good just for funsies deck. <laughs> I think it's a better just for funsies deck than uh, than the Pyro Prison is. With Pyro Prison, one person's really not having funsies. <laughs> I feel like I've said the word funsies too many times. <laughs> but but one person's really not having funsies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be dead to this for sure. So we'll we'll just scoop here. Let them think we're like Mardu, potentially. Try to send that message. We we sold that we're Mardu as best as we can. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring in all these surgicals, Tormod's crypts and angers, and then take out risk factors and fiery tempers. Need two more cuts. Could be the spikes. I don't want the deck to be like just too much air. The pilot of prison doesn't even have fun. <laughs> There's no fun have in, in, in Pyro Prison, nobody's having fun. <laughs> this is Dredge, I don't think he cares about what you're doing. Well, the sideboard wise though he does. It's gonna skew how he sideboards. You keep risk factor in. Well, that's fine, but then like give me a cut. What do you what do you cut? Trim two steamkins, two spikes, leave risk factors in, huh? I could see that. That's a selling point to those who hate themselves. <laughs> yeah, it's like it, it I feel like it falls under a similar category of like you know, uh Maybe it doesn't even. Maybe maybe it, I was gonna say lantern, but maybe that's not even true. Lantern I think has a little more play to it. It's a faithful suiting away from being not so. We don't have any of our hate cards though, but we have a pretty like aggressive hand. Kind of like turn three aggressive, not like turn two aggressive. Turn two. It's like turn one, do nothing. Turn two, steamkin, pass. And then ritual, ritual, maybe like arc light or. Yeah, it does. Die, right, whatever. Let's keep it. Let's keep it and draw like a card. Just a card. Maybe a surgical or Tormods. Cool. So, see, now they brought in Leyline, and I don't get this, but. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't supposed to sell Mardu, because I sell Mardu when he brings in Ley Lines. Maybe I should have just scooped when I saw it was Dredge. Oh yeah, we got the dog cam going. I think the only way to win this matchup is to mull into hate piece. That could be true. No, you said hate dog cam, so one of the dogs jumped away. Jinxed it. That is true, even without the graveyard, we might be able to get out of Reveler. Okay. Well, I did draw the surgical. 
top deck god over here. Now he's got a. I really don't want a surgical a uh, deck more salvage. I just don't think that's correct. I think we just pass. I don't. I, there's no way. It's like a one of. I just get rid of one of the threats. It's so easy for him to just have another. I'm getting rid of one of the threats. I'm going to let him dredge that. To conflagrate light from the loam. Okay. You and Fluffy are playing red, and I'm always Fluffy live right now, too. <laughs> We're both playing mono red. That's pretty funny. All right, he's passes back. Interesting. Conflagrate is a sorcery, right? What do we draw? Another Phoenix. Alright. What can we do here? I guess I can just play a Phoenix and attack him for six. More than six. Seven. I can math. I know how to do a math. This is so fun, this star. <laughs> Lightning axe. That kind of blows. That kind of blows. Okay, kind of happy to see him crack that fetch now. It means if he flips over blood gas, he doesn't have an immediate way to get them back, and I can surgical them. It's amalgam. So you're cathartic. Catharsum, catharsism, catharsis. Nope. The looting. Okay. Without any dredger. Oh, he did have dredger. Okay. Creeping chill and amoeba. I guess I, if I surgical the amoebas, <laughs> surgical the amoebas, it kind of holds things off here. I don't know. This is like an impossible. <laughs> this is going to be impossible. Ah, he had one in his hand. We did it. We got there. Trophies, grudges. Yeah. Dead so. Yeah, this is this is a big big yikes. Big yikes. It's okay. Faster we die, the sooner we can get over and uh play some limited. <laughs> Let's do some uh do some drafting. Alright, here's the one rule, Pike. You can't yell at me while I draft. <laughs> I know I'm going to make disappointing picks that you may not agree with, but you have to keep your your anger to a minimum. Your disagreement. <laughs> it's true, I didn't say I didn't say Kale couldn't yell. But that's the fun part. Alright, maybe you can yell a little bit. Like a little bit. Just tell, just tell Kale everything you want to say, and he can yell it. All right, flips over another amalgam. Still no, uh, 
No blood gassed yet. That's good news. Uh, you should do the Stream Decker download where the chat votes on the card you pick. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh! Wait a minute. Is Dingus... Dingus, are you still here? Dingus suggested... What did he suggest me to get? Damn it, I never did it. Dingus recommended that I got something, and I never got it. Was it the Stream Decker plugin? Was it the Stream Decker plugin? Maybe that's what it was. And I forgot to get that. I know he I know he suggested I get something. I can't remember what it was. Surgical. Okay. Man, what was it? It was probably that. Alright, we're not looking too bad. If I draw a land next turn, I can just like double Phoenix and get him with this other surgical. I just want like triple surgical in all my decks now. The plug in would make things easy. Yeah, I should get that. Could just get rid of the blood gas. That also stops. That stops everything, so let's just get rid of those. Hand is triple life from the loan. Okay, so I got rid of Narcomoebas and Blood Gas, and now he has no way of getting back the amalgams. Just worried about this card with his triple life from the loam hand. That seems pretty bad for me, actually. Oh, he just used one of his conflagrates to kill one of my my phoenix. Deal. Yeah, me neither. I don't know why I didn't loam first year either. Loam and then, like, shoot me for some of that? Ugh, just gonna conflict. <laughs> ah! Creeping chill! <sighs> Whatever. Can't beat this. Can't beat this deck. Deck's too good. Get rid of it. Mandredge. <laughs> Get it out of here. All right, we went three two with the deck. That was pretty fun. That, that deck was that deck was fun. Uh oh, bronze. So are you cool? You cool if we play this tomorrow? Does that work for you? Do a draft tonight. Play this tomorrow. If you're around, or just another time you're around. Um, because I feel like this one runs a little bit similar to the deck I just played. So I want to try to switch it up with something different, and then we'll, we can play this tomorrow. Though I know this isn't the list you sent me, it's the other one. Uh, I am actually streaming tomorrow, so despite tomorrow being Tuesday, I was given tomorrow off. So since I missed being, because I was sick before, I'm going to actually be able to stream tomorrow. I should have mentioned that earlier. Normally I have Tuesdays off, but I will be live tomorrow. Unless last minute I get called in or something. I can't imagine that's going to happen though, so assume I am live tomorrow. Uh... Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about Runaway Red real quick, and then uh, and then we'll do some limited. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing a Tuesday stream. Uh, so what felt good? What felt bad? Felt like a pretty pretty well oiled machine. Oh, perfect, Bronze. You'll be alright when I start then. Uh, yeah. Then then we'll definitely we'll definitely open the stream with your deck then. Um, can you do me a favor? Actually, can you send me a? Can you resend the link? to the new list uh, and then I'm just gonna post it somewhere that I won't lose it and then I can have that ready for uh, first to play tomorrow so yeah I mean this deck just kind of felt like it was doing its thing 
Uh, its thing is somewhat disruptible, like Graveyard Hate's kind of actually okay against it, because it is a Reveler deck, Arc Like Phoenix is good against that card, but it doesn't entirely rely on the Graveyard, so that's kind of cool. It, it's some, like, weird place in between, like, a Thing in the Ice deck and Burn. I don't know, it, it's weird. It feels really weird. Yeah, I would say Fiery Temper was the card that probably felt the weakest. It was stuck in our hand. I feel like we didn't have enough discard outlets because, uh, like, I know we have four Reveler and, and four Faithless Looting, but it still didn't feel like enough to make that card, uh, to make that card worth it. But, um, but, like, who knows? Maybe, maybe you still just need to be able to get that value from the disc. Um, maybe, maybe it's just, like, a, uh, an important part of, like, looting plus Fiery Temper when you have Steam Kid in play. I don't know. It just, like, it was, it was clunky and awkward in a lot of spots for us. Yes, yeah, so, so, Bolus is saying it's a key card. Um, I can see where it's, like, it's very important to have in certain situations. We just didn't have those situations come up. Yeah, and we weren't playing the tormenting voiceless. Maybe in the in the tormenting voiceless, I can see it being much better. Um, I definitely like the sideboard plans; those all felt pretty good. I uh, definitely like the triple surgical right now. I just want that in like every deck. Um, the tour mods, we just never saw them against Dredge. I mean, it still wasn't enough, but it was actually pretty close. We we came like pretty close to getting rid of all of their resources. Um, the blood moons felt fine, not super exciting. The shrines felt really good. I'm sure the claws do what you need them to do in the uh, in the red matchups for sure. Um, Shrine felt really good though. Shrine main, like I wanted to have Shrine main. That card just felt really good. <laughs> but I know it's bad in any matchup that's like trying to kill you. It's just very good in the grindy matchups. But I don't know. I think the deck is is something interesting. I think it's still a working list and probably has some uh, some room to grow. Thank you, Bronze. 